Comparing popular message brokers. Welcome. Hi. I'm trying to understand the differences between various message brokers. Could you help me compare Kafka, RabbitMQ, Pulsar, and Redis Pub slash sub? Of course. These are all popular message brokers, but they serve different use cases. Let's break them down one by one. Great. Let's start with Apache Kafka. What makes it special? Kafka is designed for high throughput and distributed streaming. It's excellent for handling millions of messages per second, log aggregation, event streaming, data pipeline scenarios, long-term storage of messages. Here's a simple Kafka producer example. This code shows Kafka's straightforward approach to sending messages, but it's really the scalability behind the scenes that makes it powerful. How does RabbitMQ compare to that? RabbitMQ is more focused on traditional message queuing patterns. It's great for complex routing scenarios, request reply patterns, when you need guaranteed message delivery, lower latency requirements, smart message routing with exchanges. Here's a RabbitMQ example. RabbitMQ provides more sophisticated message routing patterns through its exchange types, direct, fan out, topic, headers. What about Apache Pulsar? I've heard it's newer. Yes, Pulsar is like a hybrid that combines the best of both worlds. It offers multi-tenancy, geo-replication, both streaming and queuing semantics, better storage architecture, separate storage and computing, built-in schema registry. Here's a basic Pulsar producer. Pulsar's architecture makes it more suitable for cloud-native deployments and hybrid workloads. And finally, how does Redis Pub slash Sub fit into all this? Redis Pub slash Sub is the simplest of all these options. It's best for real-time messaging needs. Simple publish slash subscribe patterns. In memory message delivery. When you're already using Redis. Low latency requirements. Here's a Redis pub slash sub example. The 
main limitation is that Reddit's pub slash sub doesn't persist messages. If a subscriber is offline, they miss messages. Could you give me a quick comparison table of their main characteristics? Here's a simple comparison. That's really helpful. Any final thoughts on choosing between them? Choose. Cough, cough, or high throughput event streaming and data pipelines. Rabbit MQ for traditional message queuing and complex routing needs. Pulsar for a modern hybrid approach that needs both streaming and queuing. Redis pub slash sub for simple, real-time messaging requirements with no persistence needed.